everybody. Happy Wednesday. Bobby Fi here flying solo today for my, uh, I'll be solo live at 545 Eastern time. I uh, also do want to make a quick announcement that uh, we, 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 we have partnered with uh, SaberSim. It's now up on the site. You can go to the, uh, click the upper left and it's, and it's right there under features at the top of the site. It's also under tools. We have their optimizer and uh, available for uh, purchase and everything. So I think it's really awesome. Please like and subscribe to the videos and all that. We really appreciate everything. With all that said, let's get into my plays of the day. And there's a lot of decisions to make today on the lower on the lower tier, but this is sort of what I've got it scripted out so far. It's pretty similar on both sides, actually. Um, RJ Barrett is a fade at your own risk, and you could worry about that game staying close, and it's a back-to-back -back and all that stuff. But I do think RJ Barrett stands out as an elite play on both sites. He's going to be popular, so there definitely are other ways to build, but he is a guy who you're definitely going to want to incorporate in some of your lineups. Brunson and Dinwiddie with no Luca, they're the ones who are going to get the usage and everything. I am going to be very heavy on both of these guys, uh, probably not much together, but some together. Um, but I think it's a great matchup also against Houston, so hard to ignore those guys there. Um, then you get the, the 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 Sacramento stuff, right? So the Mitchell, Barnes, DiVincenzo, Lyles, and I'm, we'll get to the other guys in a minute too. Um, the Metu and the Damian Jones. I, I have it ranked like this right now, but it could easily change on each site. Mitchell DiVincenzo um, on FanDuel, Mitchell Barnes, DiVincenzo, Lyles on DraftKings. That's more of the spend ups on those guys. And now with uh, with Brogdon just being announced out, you could probably come up on FanDuel, especially with a Buddy Heald or a Tyrese Halliburton uh, revenge and uh, and whatever run back uh, with. You could play four of these guys, and I think that's completely fine. But uh, mostly it'll be two or three for me. Um, all right. Uh, you know, Tyus Jones, I have listed on FanDuel. I haven't listed on DK in a different tier because of the pricing and everything like that. Just some other value guys. So this is how I have them rated right now. I think you can make an argument Tyus Jones is ahead of the other guys in, on DraftKings, but I, I have him second right now. D Damian Jones, we'll see if he starts. It a little worries me. He's a pretty good fantasy point per minute producer, but they always have that weird Alex Len minutes that could come in to come and play. You've got Metu there. You don't necessarily need to play big. It's just kind of a weird situation. So you can go back to Obi Toppin in the early games, but remember that you might be giving up some stuff later on with some of these other spots. Uh, they might be a little better, although the Indiana game is early as well. So at least you have that. I'm always used to Sacramento being on the West Coast. Um, and then Kaminga with uh, with Draymond and, you know, Clay and, and basically everybody, Curry out. Um, they have a lot of other guys, but I, I do think Kaminga should stand out as a really elite play on both sites as well. And like I said, this is how I have them ranked right now. It's subject to change. Again, join us at 545 Eastern time. And the same is true for my spend ups. I've got these guys ranked uh, basically how I like them. And I really like Booker tonight, especially the ownership's playing a factor in that. I like SGA. I think you can play those two guys in the lineup as, as a sort of a pairing, even though they're in you know, different situations, obviously. But I do like that a little bit. I like the Embiid with a LeBron run back. I like the Harden with a, a LeBron run back, uh, more so on FanDuel, where it's easier to do. But I do think you can get there on DraftKings. And this is sort of my overall outlook of the slate. Again, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate all your guys' support. And uh, we're excited to keep turning the site into the, you know, the thing we always wanted it to be. And it's getting better by the day. So let's make it happen. Let's win some more money. And uh, good luck, everybody.